44 days until NBA MVP ballots are due, so this could all be premature. You think? But at least LeBron James has flipped the conversation. You know, when he won his first MVP award, everybody to cry that he hadn't won a championship. And now he's won back-to-back -back championships, and everybody's concerned if he's going to win the MVP award. Yes, exactly. It is a vicious cycle of expectation we weave as sports fans, right? Mm. Wouldn't you say? The one person, though, that looks poised to steal that MVP award from LeBron's clutches is Kevin from Oklahoma City. Is this Six the stealing signal right here? It's a, the, from the clutches. <laughs> uh, 61's awesome, but this is Durant's year. Let's just be honest. For more than four months now... The duo have been battling back and forth, but Duran, he made a major statement in January that you cannot ignore, averaging almost 36 points per game, largely on the strengths of 12 straight 30-point outings. Carmelo was second that month, seven points fewer per contest. All right, LeBron answering back, maybe coming on late. He knows how to bide his time. Five games since the All-Star break, James averaging more than 37 points per, topped 40 twice. That same time span, shooting 68%, which is absurd, 52% from three. But first is always better. Durant and company struck first with KD taking the first round head-to-head. -head. And in a game that saw the Heat lead by as many as 18 points, Durant willed his team back to not only take the lead, but ultimately run away with it, pouring in 33 in OKC's 17-point road win. Sure. Well, payback's not terrible. Didn't sit well with LBJ. Returned the favor two weeks ago. James and the Heat spoiled Russell Westbrook's return. Taking a 17-point lead into the second quarter, closing with a 22-point victory, the largest loss for the Thunder in nearly three years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, impressive. All right, well, impressive also for a while, at least. KD could claim the most outstanding individual performance between the two. Durant exploded for a career-high 54 points in a January 17th win over the Warriors, sinking 19 of 28 field goal attempts, including 5 of 9 from long range. Oh, I'm sorry. I was yawning through that. How does 61 <laughs> strike you? How about LeBron's scoring explosion? Let me count up Am a I boring you? <laughs> and franchise best 61. No, 54 does. 25 points in the third, 22 made buckets. Buckets! ESPN's Brian Windhorse on the MVP for LeBron. He wants that MVP award. Don't let anybody convince you differently. He still hasn't gotten over the fact that he lost it in 2011 when he didn't play his best and he felt like his popularity was against him when Derrick Rose won it that year. And so he is definitely out to get his fifth this year. No one has ever won five in a six-year span. He wants it. He felt the pressure from Kevin Durant when he was playing so well back in January and February, and that has spurred this on. Magic Johnson is a three-time most valuable player, and look at this. Instead of actually bashing the Lakers, he used Twitter to comment on the NBA's best player. Well, the a real lot of time on his hands now. He does. Will the real MVP please stand up? Oh, he did last night. LeBron James with 61 points. Tony and Mike, the interruption squad, on what will ultimately decide this hotly contested MVP race. All right, Wilbon, on what will decide the MVP this season? Tony, you know how Muhammad Ali and Ray Leonard would steal rounds by having late flurries of punches Ray in the Leonard final for 30 sure. seconds? Ray Leonard for sure. They would do that. LeBron can have an extended flurry of scoring, of playmaking, of defending, and of winning games. He can have the late flurry, and you remember as a voter, and I am one of them. You are a voter. What happened most recently. I now, am not a voter. Kevin Durant can score Should 60. Be. Kevin Durant can score 60 if he wants to, because Kevin Durant's that good, and right. he scores even more effortlessly than LeBron scores. I don't know that either one of them has that in their makeup, but Tony, I think whoever has the most spectacular games late, and we are now late, when you get to 20 games, and we're about 20, 21, 22 games, and fewer than that, whoever impresses most at the right. end is going to likely win the MVP. My position is clear. It's over. This. It's clear. Well, and LeBron James is a better player than Kevin Durant. He's the best player. Why do you have it being over if LeBron has games like he had last night? I, it's narrowed. My, it, I don't have it over. I'm going to give you the formula for okay. it. All right. Kevin Durant has played 30 games this year without the second best player on his team. Important. And he has Very led important. Oklahoma City in a tougher conference yes. to a record of 45 and 15. Tougher conference. LeBron sure. James has played 16 games without the second best player mm -hmm. on his team. And he has led his team to a record of 43 and 14. My belief is... If, because Oklahoma City is in the tougher conference, if Oklahoma City finishes with the same record as Miami or better, that Kevin Durant should get the MVP. Suppose Miami finishes two or three games better than OKC. Then it could go to LeBron James. Even though I think among people who have votes, like you, the special people, <laughs> there is a certain amount of LeBron fatigue. A certain amount. It's my belief. I'm trying to look at this just from a fresh perspective. No yes. fatigue whatsoever. You're the fresh prince of Bristol. <laughs> There's a bell. You. We're done.